welcome back to Built by Design. In this video, we'll be covering advanced sketching techniques and tools. So just to get everything launched up right here, we're gonna open up a new file. And then this is stuff that you showed you know, so we're gonna fast forward through it real quick. It's just making a simple box with a angle on the edge. So now, there's a couple of different ways when you're creating a new sketch plane um, that you can do it. So when I have an angle here, what it lets me do is it lets me actually create um, angled sketch planes. So sketch planes that aren't necessarily straight up and down like right here, but coming off at an angle. So this can be really useful if I want things to be parallel to this plane um, and not to the plane here, but parallel to this plane, then I can draw and sketch off of that. Um, but it really also just, it gives you the opportunity to, free, to choose where you want to sketch and where you want it to, so you do it if you want that, you just kind of hover next to the line that you want it to align with. Um, wait till the sketch gets to the direction that you want, and then you click and you'll be off sketching away. So that's the first kind of like little helpful trick. The other thing is offset planes. So let's say, hey, I want to draw a part, but not, not necessarily, um, I don't want to be right next to the part. I want to be off it, let's say two inches. So I can go and click this plane and then move a plane off of that. And then go over here, create a new sketch, and I can sketch off of this plane over here. So if I rotate around, you can see that I'm actually not on the face of the part, but I'm away from the face of the part. This is really helpful and really useful when you're um, creating things within bodies and components. So you also notice that I actually don't have any sketches on here, but let's say I want to get this profile um, onto my sketch. So what I have to do is I go over here and I'm gonna go over to Project Geometry. Now this is one of the most useful tools hands down um, inside of Fusion. And what it does is I can just click on the face that I want and it's going to project that geometry onto the sketch, whatever that is. So let's say I'm gonna finish this sketch here. I'm going to create a new offset plane off this here. Then create a new sketch off of that sketch plane there. Project geometry. So now when I project geometry here, it's gonna project it like it looks um, facing directly from this plane. So it's not gonna make a lot of sense when you look at it, um, unless you're right on level with that plane, then it's the direct movement of what's beneath it. So if I rotate here. You can see that it's it's exactly what's beneath it and projected um, perpendicular to um, that plane. So. This is really useful um, when you're creating lots of different parts and you want things to have the same similar dimensions or similar look. You don't have to go through and then measure the part or remember what you made those and then redraw that. You can literally just go project the plane, make the part and move it around. So you can also then do this in the same way where then you take this, go over here, grab this sketch. Grab this, move it out, create a new component. Okay, and then move this around to wherever I want. So it's identical to this in, in structure, but it's a different, completely different part. So that's a super useful and a really great feature that um, is built in to Inventor Fusion. So that's it for advanced sketching. Um, and techniques. It's really pretty simple, pretty straightforward, uh, but those will project geometry and uh, um, construction planes will save you a lot of time in the future. So thank you for watching um, Built by Design.